This video is to help you with a task set in the lesson. I'm going to talk through the different methods of reducing heat loss in the home. Cavity wall insulation. A cavity wall insulation is where you put an insulating material between the two layers of bricks that make up most modern houses. The cavity itself is a gap. This works because the insulating material traps small pockets of air inside the, the insulating material, increasing the amount of insulation you have. This cuts down heat loss through conduction. As well as cutting down heat loss through conduction, because the air is trapped in small pockets, it also cuts down convection. Loft insulation. A loft is an area at the top of a building. It is normally hotter than other areas of the building because heat is transferred to it through convection. By putting in loft insulation, you are trapping small pockets of air. This loft insulation is usually made of fiberglass. Because you have trapped small pockets of air, you are cutting down the energy loss through conduction. This means that you are increasing the insulation of your home and stopping the heat escaping. Thicker loft insulation will trap more air bubbles and will increase the insulation more. A very easy method of cutting down heat loss is to use a foil material between a radiator and a wall. This works because placing a, a thin sheet of aluminium between the wall and the radiator will cut down the amount of energy lost to the wall through radiation. The aluminium foil reflects the radiation away from the wall back into the room, making it more efficient to heat the room. Aluminium is a problem material because it is shiny and it is easy to move to shape. Double glazed windows. Double glazing is two layers of glass separated by either dry air or a vacuum. If air is used, a desiccant is used to keep the air dry. This cuts down heat loss through conduction because air is a poor conductor of heat. The heat loss is reduced if more panes of glass are used. This is triple glazing. Using thicker bricks. In the picture, you can see two examples of walls. They are both cavity walls with an exterior and an interior wall. For the diagram on the left, the wall is made thicker than the wall on the right. The external wall of the building having thicker bricks will mean it has a lower thermal conductivity. This is a measure of how much energy can be transferred through it through conduction. It works by decreasing the rate of transfer of energy from the inside of the building to the outside of the building. 